projects for kind of specific causes. I was involved in a knitting piece project last year where we did an installation at, at the Kimmel Center. So when I saw that um, the, the hat project was kind of coming forward, there was definitely kind of something that I was, you know, really interested in, in being involved with, both as kind of a way of kind of connecting with other people and also kind of a, I think the idea of seeing a sea of people in pink hats just in kind of what they that message is going to be I think is going to be really powerful um, and just kind of seeing other people out in the world hopefully in their hats and and, uh, and kind of knowing you know, your kindred spirit I think that that's really important to me and um, how many hats did you make um I am in the on my fourth so I wish I could say 44, but. Four is <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah. And your name is? My name is Dawn. We have no idea what's going on when the new president elect gets in there. Right. We don't know what his, we don't know what his um, agenda is. And um, certainly I'm just very saddened that um, women were treated the way they were um, in the past year by him. And not not only women, but just people in general, the way he treated them. And this, this helps. We, we have to come together. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, what's in your heart? Oh, lots of stuff. Because <laughs> you're younger, too. And yeah. so coming from that vantage point, like I know what I expected when I was an adult, when I was younger, and I expected great things out of America. And I almost thought that it was going to happen. Yeah. And now, so you're coming from a different history than my own. And I'm just wondering what you expected and what, how you see things. Right, well, I think... Um, I mean, I feel like I, like you said, I grew up kind of expecting America to be a certain way, you know, land of the free and everything, and then you kind of grow up and you notice that, you know, adults aren't perfect, and like people aren't perfect, and then it kind of like even gets worse, and then you're like, oh, wow, this is bad, <laughs> like, you know, and then you look at history and you say, oh, wow, it's really, it does repeat itself, like, you, it's, there for you to see so yeah but, but then you know you have like things like this where it's like oh okay I like, can like still do something even though it's small even though it's not like huge and I'm not standing up there like speaking to millions of people or maybe not influencing lots of people but it's in my own way like doing something just anything if everybody does just something anything like you know you don't know what you could do if <laughs> so I think that's a cool concept to think about yeah. And your name is? <laughs> uh, Brianna. Hi. The reason I'm here is because I just couldn't envision how I was going to move forward, and I was stagnant and almost paralyzed in a way. And um, this is helping me to take the step forward. Um, and it helps to know that maybe we as women can be stronger together in this effort. And your name is? Edie Zwerzyki. Uh, well, just touching on what Brianna said and also what, what Dawn said, I think the initial shock, um, I was paralyzed um, and really I felt like I needed to do something and, and was waiting for some kind of a call to action and, and having been a political activist in the past. I didn't really know where to turn, what to do, and this, you know, this was a perfect, it's a tiny little call to action, but it's something that we can do together, and art is very important. Just having a 
six. And are you going to DC? I'll be marching here in Philly. Thank you. And your name is Emily McBlain. Different, different issues and concerns. I'm finding, I'm so, finding many, so many different mentalities today. It, 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 it seems hard. It seems challenging. I don't say.